I'm not saying I'm not the most athletic person in the world. I can run. But this jumping made me so tired. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's so weird to talk in the kitchen, in my kitchen. So yeah, we are in my kitchen. So this is a bit different video. Um, this is not a makeup tutorial or talking about makeup. Today we're gonna talk about food. I promised in my before vacation video that I will do more different videos. I want to do cooking videos and all kinds of different videos because I want to express myself in my channel. Makeup is not my only side that I have. I have lots of different things I like to do. Cooking is one of them. So today I decided to do like a what I ate in a day video. I really like these videos. I'm watching them all the time on YouTube. I really like to see what other people are eating in a day, what kind of healthy options people are sharing because I am always uh, trying to search for new receipts to do in my daily kitchen, daily menu <laughs> because I don't like to be boring and eat every single day the same thing. In today's video I'm just gonna share with you some of my foods that I eat in a day and today is uh, Monday, no, today is Sunday. So Sunday, I would say, is like more relaxed day, like a cheat day, pancake day. I like to call Sundays a pancake Sundays. So I will definitely show you how to cook some pancakes. This video is going to be all about me cooking, what I eat in a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm so nervous. So if you are watching or following me because you like my tutorials and makeup and stuff and you are not into this kind of food things then you can exit this video but if you would like to see what I put in my tummy then please keep on watching by the way guys I forgot to tell you that this receipts the foods I eat are mostly gonna be in this video vegan and very healthy <laughs> for some people why I didn't include any like animal based products like meats and dairies why I didn't include them is because I do want to share in my channel quality videos, quality products and I don't want to spread like a wrong word in the world in my videos. So I really support the vegan community. I am trying to go like baby steps to that direction but I'm not vegan 100%. I'm not saying that. I don't drink dairy milk. I have cut out eggs from my menu, my meal menu and yeah, so basically I'm gonna share with you some of the foods that are really healthy they're gonna make you feel that you ate something and something that I really like to eat if I wanna eat 100% vegan and I wanna be healthy and I don't wanna put in my tummy anything bad anything that will make me feel bad about myself so yeah guys that was just a disclaimer because I don't want people to think that I'm vegan or that I'm trying to fake that I'm a vegan I am not and it's just that I want to spread the right word in my channel I support vegans 100% I support the community of the people that are about the healthy lifestyle because I'm really all about food I love food I like to find healthy options so yeah guys, this is what I'm gonna share with you, a very healthy options today, at least they're healthy for me, I'm not, I don't know about other people, so yeah guys, let's get into it. I woke up like an hour ago, I got a little bit something on my face, put something on my face, I don't wanna look like a ghost in this video. We are in my kitchen, as you can see, and basically in the breakfast, I don't eat breakfast breakfast as I as soon as I wake up because I don't know why I just cannot eat breakfast when I wake up I can eat only after one hour or two hours so when I wake up I usually drink coffee and coffee is like well I cannot live without coffee I know it's really bad but I cannot live without my cup of coffee in the morning and that's something that really wakes me up and I like to do it I like to drink coffee so yeah I'll show you how I make my 
So for my coffee, I'm gonna use this David of Coffee. This is Espresso 57. It's instant coffee and I like it because it's really nice and intense. And I'm just gonna put one tablespoon of brown sugar and some hot water. Like I usually put half of the cup because I don't like like black coffee and hot. So I'm gonna put some coffee made. This is fat free. By the way, I'm using actually the one that's non-dairy. I actually thought all of them are non-dairy, but turns out this one has a little bit like milk powder. And I'm gonna top it with some vanilla soy milk. And usually when I drink my coffee in the morning, I'm just watching some TV. This time it was Mrs. Doubtfire. I absolutely love this movie. It's so freaking funny since I was like a child. Like it was one of my favorite comedies. I love it. And of course, I always also check my social media, some Instagram, like some pictures, you know the deal. Of course, I always check Snapchat, emails, all that jazz, you know. I'm not saying I'm not the most athletic person in the world, I can run, but this jumping made me so tired and I think I lost some weight and I think I need to eat something because it's already 11 and time to put something in the tummy. So for my breakfast this day I choose to eat some oats and yeah it's just so fast to make the oats. It's tasty and plus it's healthy and it makes your it doesn't make you hungry for at least three hours four hours like at least it's for me like that so I'm putting some oats to boil kind of for like around five to ten minutes and I'm just gonna all the time stir it well so it doesn't burn and I like my oats, uh, I like my oats a little bit thicker I know a lot of people are eating them very like watery but I like thicker so yeah I'm gonna put some one spoon of peanut butter just to give some nice and nutty taste also it makes it a little bit more creamier the oats and I really like how this tastes all together I actually did not know this recipe since a week ago I found it on Instagram and I was like oh my god I need to try this it sounds so amazing and when it's done I'm just gonna top it with some cinnamon powder and of course you need some fruits because I mean I cannot eat oats by itself I need something I need a jam I need honey or some fruits and for my early morning drink like vitamins I always drink some vitamins in the morning and this is one of my favorite ones I just uh, top some mint and ginger and lemon with hot water mix it all together and it just tastes like a nice early morning tea and plus there's a lot of vitamins so when I eat always my breakfast if I do eat breakfast I watch some YouTube videos this time as you can see I was watching Dizzy Perkins <laughs> And yeah, looks like I'm enjoying myself alone. Looks like I have a very amazing lonely life. <laughs> so I just finished working on some videos, planning my videos and editing a little bit. And it's about 3 p.m. and I think it's time to cook some lunch. Usually I eat lunch around 5, 6 o'clock because that's the time when my husband comes home and I need to cook so there's warm food for him and for myself and usually that time I get hungry but today the day is going fa uh, slowly and I don't didn't have like much things to do I'm just sitting at home doing some stuff about the videos and yeah so I was thinking I will cook something right now like lunch and I'm not sure what I want to eat I still 
I'm still sitting here and thinking, do I want pasta or do I want quinoa? I think I will go for pasta because pasta is my best friend. I mean, it's easy to cook and also it makes you full and it's tasty and everybody loves pasta. So I will go for pasta, I guess. So yeah, time to move to the kitchen right there. So I was thinking like, hell yeah, I'm gonna make some pasta. Well, I don't have any pasta, turns out. I forgot to buy some, so I'm just gonna make some brown rice. And yeah, I love brown rice and I hope you too, because this is one hell of a good recipe and very, very tasty. So I always put the grains to boil first because especially brown rice rice it takes a long time to boil so I'm gonna put the rice to boil first I'm gonna put them straight away in the water top with some salt and mix it all together and just put the lid on and just let it there let it there to soak and boil and then I'm gonna fry some onions on a wok pan yeah it's a wok pan I think and yeah from time to time I'm just checking on the rice mix it well just so it doesn't burn on the on the down part of the of that thing <laughs> I don't know how it goes oh my god yeah so when the onions are a little bit fried I'm gonna put some mushrooms and I'm gonna put the lid on so it all soaks in and sorts nicely with the onions and then after like five minutes i'm gonna put some crushed pepper black pepper and some salt i'm using the pink salt himalayan pink salt and yeah some herbs mixed herbs and just mix all together then i'm gonna put some red paprika i am obsessed with paprika like i could eat paprika every day that's like one of the most tastiest vegetables i think in the world and I'm gonna put some soybeans if you are eating a vegan meal like you want to make sure that you eat a lot of protein and of course beans with rice it's a lot of protein so I'm gonna top with some tomato paste this is just a natural tomato paste and yeah to make the all very saucy <laughs> and yeah of course when I'm cooking it's getting so boring that I want to eat rice is ready I'm just gonna drain them in the drainer of course and I'm gonna put in straight away in the wok pan mix it all together with the sauce and just leave with the lid on for about two to three minutes and when it's ready I'm just gonna put in the bowl and put some tomatoes soak with some parsley I absolutely love tomatoes I love parsley parsley is like one of the best herbs in the world I think and this was actually freaking delicious delicious you can see my happy face. Uh, yummy <laughs> that was one of the best rice I ever ate. I'm serious. I I hope that music is not too loud. I love Mexican food and this is definitely something that tasted almost like Mexican food and I look like a trash. I mean it's mid of the day so of course I'm already like tired. <laughs> So I look pretty crazy right now, I just actually removed my makeup and I did a mask on my face and yes I have a lipstick on my lips because I was trying some Colourpop a lippy stick. Anyways without that um, 
I'm so freaking hungry. It's about dinner time and I want something really fresh and I'm thinking to make some guacamole. 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 I say guacamole and I am obsessed with guacamole. It's like one of my all-time favorite like snacks versus dinner. I usually eat guacamole at dinner time because I like something very fresh at dinner so yeah I'm just gonna go make some guacamole and that's about it for my what I eat in a day I will do um, another uh, dinner dinner recipe which is gonna be uh, three ingredient pancakes which I also obsessed with and why I'm gonna do that one because it's just a dessert option for the people who want some desserts and that's just something I really love to eat on my pancake sundaes and it's easy to make and it's it's not heavy pancakes but yet when you eat them they're so delicious and they make you so like they make your tummy happy and yeah yeah I look so weird cannot look in this camera <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go make the guacamole and then after I'm gonna show you how I make the pancakes and that's it for So for guacamole, I'm gonna use two avocados. Thank God these were perfect <laughs> because those were the only avocados I actually had. And yeah, I'm just gonna take all the meat stuff from inside in the bowl. Gonna top with some lime juice. I'm gonna use half of the lime. I absolutely love lime. If you don't like lime, you can use lemon. Sometimes I use lemon. And yeah, I'm just gonna put some crushed black pepper, some Himalayan pink salt, and I'm just gonna crush it all together in a nice crunchy paste. And then just gonna cut in small small pieces like tomatoes paprika parsley people usually put just tomatoes cilantro instead of parsley but i like to make my own guacamole and i think paprika is one of the absolute perfect ingredients in guacamole i don't know why people don't use it but yeah i just love it so yeah this is my my signature guacamole maybe some people can think it's more like salad but I like to call it as guacamole. It's it still tastes the same, even better. So yeah, I'm just gonna put some red onions also and just mix all together. And basically, that's it for the guacamole. I usually eat them with the rice cakes or with some crackers. It depends on what you like. You can also eat with the basic corn tortilla chips, but this is my healthy option and it's still tasteful. Uh, three ingredient pancakes yes please <laughs> so I'm gonna put in the blender 1.5 cups of oats and I'm gonna blend it in a flour kind of mixture and then I'm gonna add some one cup of, of soy vanilla milk soy vanilla milk you can use any type of milk you want almond milk rice milk whatever and of course one ripe banana ripe is the best option believe me so yeah then i'm just gonna blend it all together so it's in a nice pancakey mixture gonna put one spoon of brown sugar tablespoon teaspoon as much as you like the sugar depends uh, if the milk was sweet or not some cinnamon for taste you can put some vanilla whatever you like and guess what that's it <laughs> so now it's time just to bake bake the pancakes and I'm gonna use some coconut oil you can use any oil you like I mean coconut oil is not the healthiest oil in the world but it still gives a very nice taste to these pancakes and I absolutely love it and yeah just I'm gonna bake the pancakes as usually
and when the pancakes are ready you can just eat them like this or you can top with some fruits you can eat with bananas strawberries blueberries whatever you like and top with some sauce i like maple syrup with these pancakes you can use anything else you like you can use some jam whatever your heart desires and yeah that was it for today's vlog what i eat in a day i hope you really guys enjoyed this video i hope you really like this kind of type of videos because i really would like to do them more i especially love to cook it's like one of my passions and and i will be so honored and so happy if you would like to see more of like my personal kitchen cooking blah 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 so i guess let me know in the comments down below what do you think about it do you like this type of videos would you like to see more or should i stop right here <laughs> so yeah and i'm about to go uh to my bath and to go to sleep so i hope you enjoyed today's video by the way i'm not usually eating this much i just um Usually I'm not eating breakfast and I'm not eating two types of dinner like pancakes and guacamole. That's a lot. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, I hope to see you next time in my next video, my next probably vlog. I should try some vlogging video, right? Let me know what do you think about it guys. So yeah, thank you so much and good night. <laughs>